So we want to take you back to February 2020 for a moment you know, before it all went haywire. That was the last time we checked in with the New Mexico Ballet Company as it prepped for Alice in Wonderland. None of us knew at the time, but that would be the dancer's last live in-person performance for another year and a half. Well, this Thanksgiving weekend, they're finally making a comeback. The Nutcracker, that is, and our Brianna Wilson gives us a look behind the scenes. For the first time in 18 months, the New Mexico Ballet Company will once again take center stage at Pope Joy Hall in front of a live audience. And they're back with a holiday favorite, the Nutcracker. It is so exciting to be able to perform for live audiences again in a theater again. We've waited so long and we've been missing that, that opportunity. So we're over the moon about this chance to come back. <laughs> Our production of the Nutcracker this year is the first local production of this size and of this magnitude to happen live in front of an audience in a theater in Albuquerque since the pandemic started. The theater can safely seat up to 2,000 people. Seating will not be limited, but audience members are asked to mask up and scan a QR code to receive a digital program. That'll be kind of an easier way, hopefully moving forward to to promote our sponsors in the show and to have a, a program that we don't have to, you know, hand out and have all that contact in the in the lobby. The company has some COVID precautions of its own. Dancers have been wearing masks during rehearsals and only recently returned to the studio. We went through a long period of dancers dancing from home on Zoom, taking pre-recorded classes. Eventually we got to be back in the studio, kind of half hybrid Zoom and in person. In a normal year, the Nutcracker cast includes more than 80 dancers, some as young as eight years old. This year we have about 60 dancers and they're ages 12 and up. Our entire cast is fully vaccinated and they will be able to perform without masks, but with lots of COVID restrictions. Also lots of new choreography and costumes. Nutcracker never gets old. We've, some of us have been doing this for decades and each year with those little changes, we're able to make it more exciting and new and fresh for us. The first show kicks off November 27th at 7 p.m. Tickets are available now. We have a link up at KLB.com. All right, dancers, let's take it from the top. Brianna Wilson, KLB4.